James Bond like figs in the morning. He gets it to you. Yeah. No, the early James Bond movies. They came out in the 60s. Oh, Sean Connery. He's smoked a pipe? No. He, uh, what did he smoke? He was smoking a cigarette down there. No, he didn't smoke a pipe. Oh. No. Well, this goes back like into the early 70s, maybe, late 60s. Mm -hmm. And they had a problem. Uh, some kind of a water main broke and it just flooded. They decided to turn it into a lake. In that one part of the lake that people walk around, there's, you can see there's a slope up to where they actually walk and that slope down the lake. Yeah. Well, kids used to hang out there. And, and this guy swears that one day they had a few too many drinks and one of the kids car went right into the water, into the lake. Oh. And they never could get it out. And they, they swear it's still there. Yeah. It's called the uh, hole puncher. Oh, yeah. You know well, because that's I, I know I've seen guys. Well, I've seen cigar smokers that they, they take a like a pen uh -huh. oh, and yeah. then you stick it in and they do yeah, this. Good. And that's the top sellers. We have the Power Roll One. The, I didn't mean to do that. The Power Roll Two. One thing that's interesting about my reference to Clint Eastwood uh, using cigars about this size is that in real life he did not smoke. And yeah, we said or claimed that the reason he had could get that kind of mean look on his face, say he was standing at a bar with one of these in his mouth, is that he absolutely hated the smell of tobacco, any kind of tobacco. He was a non-smoker his entire life. Uh, so these cigars uh, helped his character and his facial expressions uh, in his movies. I always found that very interesting. Size wise? Uh, nothing too well, actually, on vacation, I, when I was married, I uh, went to Hawaii and ran on a boat, and I thought it was selfish that weighed uh, 98 pounds. No way. Oh yeah. my God. 98 Damn. pounds, and it was uh, That's huge. 70 some inches, uh, <laughs> over, over six feet. Yeah. It took me uh, 45 minutes to get it. And let me tell you, in, 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 I think I lost 10 pounds. I wanted the guy to help me. I said, oh, come on. And I wasn't old. I mean, I was like 35 years old when it was going on. Trying to pull and I said, man, I'm a, I would get it to the boat and zzzz, out it would go. Another 100 yards out. All the way back in, you know. Uh, uh, uh. I thought, I thought it was going to die. 45 minutes. Oh, oh about 45 God. minutes. And it was about 90 degrees out there. Oh, no. And it was not a great breeze either. <laughs> I, I think of it. Uh, it was like good news and bad news. My biggest fish, but I almost died. And now, um, do I have the right side? Okay, it's like a uh, fishing tobacco box. Uh, open it. I'm struggling here. How do we get it so it goes in here, right? Yeah. And where does the cigarette go where you put it? It's not too hard to get in. You set it from the side, <coughs> you roll it in. For some reason, I'm having a hard time. Go from the side. <laughs> Keezy, dude. <laughs> you just put it from the side. Put it in from the side. You push it a little bit in. And you roll it. It's ready now to use. You crank the tube, you, actually you crank the handle on the tube, and, <laughs> and guess what, there's no tobacco here. <laughs>